All right, five more ways <laughs> to spot a charlatan. I know, I, I'm not sure how you guys are going to tell these apart, so you'll have to watch them all. All right, uh, any medium, psychic, reader, tarot, whatever, that claims, acts, or talks, like they invented mediumship and that they invented other modalities. For example, the, the, the term, you don't die, okay? That is correct, we don't. And J.W. Dunn said it first in 1947, nothing dies. And then George Anderson, who is a medium, said it again in 1988, we don't die. And it's even the newest title of Matt Fraser's book, We Never Die. And I'm sure that none of them were the first to say it either. So when you hear a reader act like their information was invented by them, understand it's their ego at work and be discerning. If that's what you want, if that's what you want in a reading, absolutely. But to me, it's a underdevelopment and a, a kind of a sign of immaturity. They give vague information. I literally watched a medium on YouTube say, um, well, he died of something. Agreed. Yes, he absolutely died of something. Or maybe your sister is someone who loves your kids. You think? All right. Number three? Number two. Number three. They chase clout by tagging celebrities or claiming to read celebrities or, as mentioned earlier, tagging their cult followers. Um, when somebody says that they have read a celebrity, but they give you no proof, and then they in turn say, well, I'm not going to post it because it was a private reading. If it was a private reading, you wouldn't even be talking about it on TikTok. You're, they're chasing clout. This is about them being a celebrity, not about healing, not about um, kind of the, the point of being a medium or a psychic or intuitive, if you will. It's supposed to be, for the most part, it's supposed to be about healing others, helping others heal, helping yourself heal. But it's dang sure supposed to be about being honest. Is one of my favorites. Uh, they steal content like ants at a picnic. Da -da 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 -da. Ants at a picnic, get it? Cake, crumbs. And number five for this one, they create content that you have to watch like five times because they do this laundry list of words or they only leave the question up for like three seconds. So you have to go back and rewatch it to see what the question was because you didn't even realize it disappeared. These are all ways that they promote their algorithm. And it's uh, sure it's marketing, right? But to me, it's kind of um, disingenuous, right? I'm going to leave these words up for three seconds. So you have to come back. You have to hit pause. You have to watch it again. Um, so maybe that one's questionable. But five more ways to spot someone who is underdeveloped and or a charlatan.